We all, hey y'all, this is me stop dropping roll on. I'm sorry, I'm shaking this thing at y'all like y'all getting ready to get a whooping. I just happen to have it in my hand, excuse me, for my rudeness. Me and Parody is coming back from I done made a safe exchange of them pants, which I was talking about in another video. Pants fit, they was just too wasn't long enough to my likings. But we were just talking about we just drove by a sign here. Um, and I, it's a little church around around here in one of these little scranked up neighborhoods and um, I've been watching the little church because it's kind of like it looked like it could have the makings of some stuff questionable see this is how all this accident stuff and he ain't got nothing to lose he already got the back end of his car burgeoned in but anyway bludgeoned in anywho we just drove by that church. The one I tell you, I've been kind of keeping my own because it's questionable looking. And these clowns got a sign up with, I think, tomorrow's date on it, talking about pet blessing with a picture of a dog up there. And I guess they mean bring Fido and uh, Miss Kitty to church tomorrow and they're going to pronounce a blessing on them. If I'm not mistaken, animals don't have souls and things of that nature. So when they break off from the earth, my understanding is they go right back to dust. Is that correct? Yep. Once they're dead, they're dead. This is what I'm trying to say. Why am I need? All you got to do is feed them and love them and hug them and squeeze them. Um, and, but they going to take it too far and put a pet blessing on it. Pierre, on the other hand, we going a little further down, and he always sometimes will take a story to an extra level. He going to come bring up some man that got, that ain't nothing. This man I seen on TV the other day, and I told him, told y'all about this stuff Pierre look at on TV sometimes be a little questionable. Um, a man with a, a hippopotamus, what did you say? A buffalo in the house. And he is him and the buffalo making a go of it, being friends and roommates. The reason why is because this man done had him a girlfriend, but he can't have no girlfriend now because she left him because he wouldn't get rid of the buffalo. My question is, hold on. My question is, if you knew that man had a buffalo in his house and you a female, what was wrong with you the reason why you felt compelled to even hook up with him? I wouldn't even had to break up with you because I wouldn't have never got with you because you had a buffalo in your house calling it a pet. Toodles.